Okay. Um, I know I've posted a lot this week. Well, I've posted a lot in general, but I've posted a fair bit this week. Kind of one and a half, I think, if that. I thought I'd um, do a little video of the project overall in general. We're getting to a stage now where big chunks of it are done. A lot of it's done. But as you can see, well I can see anyway, I can automatically see a problem. Which I find that happens a lot when you work on a big piece and you work a bit further down the line. That uh, my roof don't tie in. These two passable okay a tie in that one I had an accident with and the front side doesn't tie in as well and the back side ties in so that makes me think now I need to repair the repair the roof on the front side of that one to get it to tie in properly to the rest of the build. I thought heavily putting heavily green weathering on it might hide it but when they're all together like this you can kind of see that they all it just pops out quite clearly at you. I mean, in general, I don't think it's shaped up to be too bad a build at this stage. I mean, I've been heavily working on this one, which I'll come up closer in a bit, getting the weathering done on it. I'll pull up a bit closer. I mean, you can see, put some moss and I've been. I've been using some rain effects on the tiling as well on this one, which gives it a pop certain areas out. I'm just going to move with the cam so you can actually see better. So just bear with me. Just try and show you some close up sections. Bear with me being a bit shaky. As you can see, I've hit the roof. With bird chip and stuff, and I've generally been weathering over, weathering over, weathering a Can't pronounce that today. I've just said a big Chinese. It's probably what's got to do with it. But you can see where. Just hold it steady. Is it going to focus? See these faint lines. This is MIG writing effects. Now you can pull it, pull it down, but this is the idea of the rain effect. Is just to um, sort of emphasise where it will pull and stuff. And I've hit it up a bit, a bit there, I'm kind of on the tile in there. And she's getting, she's getting there. I've got to pop out the windows a bit more. Hit up the lead in. As you can see, the roof's coming along, and I've got this moss, and I put a little bit of grass. So I want it to look like it was um, a little bit derelict before it was sort of used as a military thing. So I've done moss and a bit of grass growing in there. Put some weathering down the sides here. I've started to like heat it up on bits of the windows and stuff. And I still need to, you know, I'll try and come in a bit on the doors if you can see. There's holes for handles. And I could have put some little pegs in the doors, but at this point I'm kind of just going to like little bolts in the doors. But I didn't do it so, I'm probably just going to bang them up like and get them done. 
but you can see she's she's shaping up there with the weathering and stuff and the planking needs to be popped a bit more but, um, it's just just a few bits and bobs that need to be done on her I'm going to put some like flower gardens here and stuff like that have and some tiles scattered and a shutter and that and time at the back I'll do the back of the the back of this area here is like a, a vegetable patch which I think they kind of utilise the space but um, these little things are from a company called Minotaur and they do have a beautiful range of grass and flowers and stuff I saw them at a show the other day and I bought a few packs and to be quite honest they're a lot better value for money than what you get from um, army painter and stuff like that the packs are twice the size and they're pretty good but I mean when she's in situ I think it's all I mean, I've not got enough room on here to set it up properly but you kind of get the idea and there it's going to be set up on the table with the wall around it, the gates, courtyard and stuff but regrettably as usual I've got to repaint that baby she's good to go but that's what I think anyway I think I just need to just hit up that roof but that's just to come a project update on where we're at with the build. I mean, it's took some time. This says you'd be surprised how many video posts this of maybe this and how long it's been taking me to actually get these buildings built. But I mean, I think they're going to look nice when the walls are on and the baseboards down and everything. So just let me know what you think. Now you can actually see a few of these together and see if it's um, coming together nicely. Anyway. Take care folks, goodbye.